everyone, Enigma Coin Collector here, and we're back with another Penny Hunt, and this box is a little bit special to me. I actually got this box back in 2020 for my brother as a birthday present, and it's been sitting under my desk for almost over a year. Now, he lives close to a university that likes to proclaim that we are in the state of Pennsylvania, so hopefully you can figure out where this box is from then. And I have been putting off on hunting this box because I've wanted to hunt it with him here on the channel, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime in the near future. So I decided I'm going to crack into this box. So, bro, thank you very much for this box of pennies. Looking forward to see what's inside it. Hopefully it's been sitting for a year and there's some awesome finds inside. We're going to be looking for those varieties listed here on Rob Finds Treasures Penny Mat, along with key dates, semi-key dates for the Wheaties. An Indian head penny would be awesome. Oh nines. Forns, errors and varieties, you name it. If it's interesting, we're going to bring it in right here in the mat and show you and give points for it. So hopefully you enjoy this type of a hunt. I've been doing it on my channel for a while, and I'm excited to see what's inside this box. There is a lot of copper on the bottom here, and you can see there is a Canadian ender there too. So hopefully this box has some good finds for us. I've been thinking about this for a while, and right now it's just time to open it. No box code on this, but this is the box with the holes on it like I just showed you. Usually the type of boxes I get in my area. So let's see what this box has for us. Definitely a lot of copper. There's another Canadian under two more Canadian enders right there. If you can tell that, yeah, you can tell that for sure. So are we going to have a lot of Canadians in this box? Definitely a fair amount of copper for sure. I'll get set up and bring in on the first find. Well, roll number one is going to give us our first finds, and I actually think there's going to be two, absolutely. So here we go, roll one. Our first find is a foreign, so I think this box is going to be heavy on the Canadians, and this is a young head. That's going to be a 1964 Canadian young head. First find of the box, and then a few coins later, I just saw this, our first weedy. So roll one has some nice finds for us. This is going to be a 1945 Philly wheat scent to start off the hunt. Nice start. Hopefully we have a lot more finds. Roll number two has the same set from roll one. Our second Wheaty. It's a 1953. Is that an S? 1953 S. That's cool. like seeing those S mint marks. And that foreign. Another Canadian. 2005. So... That's really cool that uh, rolls one and two both had a Wheaty and a Canadian, which is going to get more finds in the box, the Forens or the Wheaties. We'll find out. We're on roll five, and I see three Forens staring back up at me in this one roll. They're all Canadian. This one's going to be an 83. Move that 09 over a little bit. We'll put the dates up. And then we've got our second young head of the hunt. Love seeing these. Another 64. And then there's one more. So three more forns to add. This one's 87. Nuts. I think this box is going to have more Canadians than Wheaties. We'll have to wait and see. Roll number seven, and I already see another forn popping out of the woodwork, and I just lost it. There it is. And this is going to be a 1974 Canadian. So at this point, I'm not going to be bringing you in for all of the forens because this box is obviously going to be loaded with them. But I will bring you back in case it's a young head or older, a King George, something like that. But you'll get periodic updates on the forens from this point on, but hopefully we find some more Wheaties. And I'm bringing you in sooner rather than later because that same roll had a weedy. Didn't see the date until now, a 1951D. We get to add to the board. Last roll had two Canadians back-to-back, -back and I didn't film it. This roll, roll 10, we've got our next wheat scent right here. What is it going to be? Probably from the 50s. 1953. Is that another S? Yes, it is. 1953S. Getting those S mint marks. It's our second 53S of the box. like to see that. Roll 15, and we're up to 13 Canadians already. So we're definitely going to outpace the Wheaties in this box unless this box heats up super hot. But we do have one, and this is going to be a 1947 wheat scent that we get to add to the board. That is nice to see, but we're definitely not going to catch up to the pace these Canadians are setting. Well, it's been a while, and you can see we've amassed quite the collection of Canadians. 25 so far. We're not even halfway through the box. 
We're going to end with a full roll of Canadians, but I'm bringing you in because we have another wheat scent finally. And it is just going to be, let me fix that. There we go. Uh, just a 53D, but it's only the sixth one we've found in the box. And I just can't believe it. The total number of finds of Canadian scents we're finding in this box. Very odd. I will also state that I'm going through and looking at the 2015s for the DDO because I'm getting a lot of those and it's just getting impossible to keep that stack uh, together until the end of the hunt. So I am periodically going through those, but the rest will do at the very end. All right. Well, we know the Canadians are going to win for the box more than likely. Let's see if we can dig in and find another wheat scent. Roll 30 and we finally have our next wheat scent and it's a little bit bent. Had some hard times. And that is a 56 Denver we get to add. You can see just how fast the foreigns are outpacing the Wheaties. It's a little bit ridiculous. Also getting a fair amount of 09s. Uh, it's been a real good hunt, and we have a lot of errors and varieties to check for at the end. So let's keep going. Well, I said I wouldn't bring you in for all of the Canadians, but I will bring you in for this one because this is another young head. Roll 31. It's our third 1964 of the box. That is really cool. And we'll add it number 35 in terms of Canadians. Roll 32 was one away from being an ender. We're going to get our eighth wheat scent, finally. And it's a little crusty. And that's a 1944. And that is the oldest wheat scent we have so far, 44P. <laughs> These Canadians are squeezing out the Wheaties out of the way because they have a lot more to go holy cow and while you're here here's another one number 37 of the box not a young head just as 1970 but holy cow roll 33 wheat scent number nine and it's from the 50s 56p but we are happy to have them roll 34 wheat scent number 10 so that Second half of this box is coming on a little bit stronger. 1953 out of Denver. It's going to go right there. And I already see another Canadian. Might as well show you. We are now up to 40 Canadians on the hunt. Any more? Not that I see. Roll 35. Bring you in for another Canadian. It's our fourth young head of the box. 1957, so something other than a 64. That is a really, really awesome number 41 of the box. Crazy. Roll 36 is going to have wheat scent number 11 in good shape. And that's a 1941 in really nice shape. Yeah, nice detail on the wheat ears. We will take that. That is now the oldest in the box. I've got to slide everything down here. Because the Canadians, again, are just squeezing out Lincoln here. Roll 40. We have a dozen Wheaties. Not too bad. Uh, and this is a 1942, also in great shape. And I thought I saw a foreign, but I don't anymore. Either way, roll 40. Finally break a dozen Wheaties. 42 Canadians. Insane. Roll 42, and the foreigns keep getting older. This is our fifth young head in 1955. Wow. Number 45 of the box. Are we going to get a King George? I can't believe it. This is the next roll. It's roll 43. I just laid it out, and I saw that we've got a weedy here, but as I was flattening the roll out, you're not going to believe me. I just said it. We just found it. That's a King George VI 1941 Canadian in the box after I just said, are we going to find one in the last roll? That is insane. I totally did not plant that. I opened the roll, flattened it out, and it was there. Wow. Maybe I should have said, are we going to find a 1909 SVDB? Is that going to be next? We also have another one and one touching the wheat scent. So three Canadians in that roll and a wheat scent. Number 13, Baker's Dozen in 1946. This is nuts. Roll 46, we've got wheat scent number 14 and we hit 50, 52 Canadians. <laughs> 
And this is going to be a 1945 out of Philly. Roll 47. Young head number six, I believe. 1961. This is just insane. And what would roll 50 be without another young head? Of course. Oh my gosh. A 1959 young head. And I think I see one more foreign. Yep. Here's another one uh, in 77. And real quick, since you're here, we'll just buzz through this roll together. I still can't get over the sheer number of, of Canadian cents in this box. To my Canadian watchers, uh, is that ratio of young heads uh, what you see in your change? I know you don't have circulating pennies anymore, but how common were those coins? Um, and the King George's as well. I'd be really interested to know if that was a common occurrence, because for me, it's definitely a uncommon occurrence. Uh, but I don't know if that necessarily is true north of the border. Definitely getting a lot of coins to search here on the secondary hunt. And then, oh, one more 09. And that one goes there. That's going to do it. All right, now that the primary hunt is over, we're going to go to the secondary hunt where I, where I look for the errors and varieties. I'll bring it back in for a recap. Well, I don't get to do this very often, but today I do. I'm bringing you in for this. This is going to be a 2000 wide AM in the box. Only variety, but you can clearly see that the A and the M are not touching. On most of these coins, the A and the M pretty much are touching, but in this case, it's separated. This is a 2000 wide AM in the box, confirmed, and this is my first one found. And for all the wide AMs, this is the only one I've never found in person. So I've now found the 98, the 99, and now the 2000 wide AM. Really, really th thrilled about this discovery. And uh, we're going to flip this up and we're going to go to the wrap up. Well, that box has been scored and that was a solid, solid box. Look at that, 124 points. We also got... 1,650 grams of copper. I've actually already put it away, but we had a ton of copper in that box as well. You can see the 52 forms was just far and above, far and above and beyond anything that we usually get. And we got that air variety, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But that was an awesome box, my brother. Thank you very much, bro. Let's take a look at the finds. Look at all these Canadians. And I have to apologize because when I was doing this, I thought I had them up here in a row of 10. They were rows of nine, so I actually overestimated, but at the end of the day, we had 52 foreigns, and that's what I had on my last clip on the video. So technically that was right, but it looked like it was more than that. Still over a roll of Canadian cents in that one box. And then take a look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight young heads. The oldest being a 1955. And then we had... The king himself, King George the Sixth, not in great shape, but happy to have him from 1941. Holy cow! We only had 14 wheat cents, and the oldest one was a 1941. And here are the rest. Nothing uh, in terms of errors and varieties through there. Mostly in the 40s and 50s. In fact, all in the 40s and 50s. We had 19 2009s, which is definitely above average for me. But the star of the show. Star find, this 2000 wide AM. My first one, found coin roll hunting. Really, really happy to have it. It's always a rush whenever you find something rare. And uh, really, really happy to have this. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I release new content. Leave a comment below if you have something to say. Leave a thumbs up if you like the video, and remember, it's always a mystery until you crack open those rolls and you find out what you got inside. Thanks for taking the time to watch, everyone. I will catch you on the next one.